purpose of this tutorial is to walk you through Lab 3.5 on the program challenge. Now what you're going to do in this program is have the user enter three values, the age, weight, and a birth month. And you're going to compare them to certain seek answers. The seek answers are listed here in this table. Go being 25 for age, 128 weight, and April for a birth month. And then you're going to check the comparisons. Be sure to read these comparisons because they're different. Um, you're going to see if their guess age is less than or equal to 25. And then if that's true, you're going to print a congratulatory message. So every comparison is a little bit different. Now I've provided you with some hints on starting the program. And this is the pseudocode for how you would start it. So essentially what you're going to do down here, I started the pseudocode for you, is you have three variables that will take in or be used to store the guessed values from the user. And then you have four function or module calls that will get values from the user and then compare those answers. So the first one, get age, has to pass age. And then here's the module written for you that will get the age and then it's an integer. It's a reference because you're going to change the value in the module and then the parameter to finish up the parameter list we have to include the variable age. So here we're going to simply put display enter the guess for age and then input age and end that module. Now you're going to code get weight the same and you're going to code get month the same. And here is our module for correct answer. Now if we look at our call for correct answer it accepts three variables or passes three variables as arguments, age, weight, and birth month. Now down here in our parameter list, we're going to simply accept those. So integer age, comma, integer weight, comma, string, birth month would be our complete parameter list. Now inside of here, we just have three if statements, if age, is less than or equal to 25, then we want to display a congratulatory message and we end our if statement. Now be sure to check that you're using the proper condition based on the requirements of the program. Now you're going to add code here for the weight condition and that will be, that will be done similarly to the age except that you're testing different values. Now on birth month, the thing that's a little different here is we're using a double equal sign because we're asking a question if birth month is equal to April. Now because April is a string, we have to have quotes around it. So if that's true, then put in here what you want to happen, ensuring to end your if statement. Now if we go over to Raptor, which is for our flowchart, you're still going to have a main, pro main module where you have a call to get age, one to get weight, one to get the birth month, and then the meat of your program is in this correct answers module. So in correct answers, essentially what you want to do is to just stack your conditions, one for age, one for eight, weight, and one for birth month. Now I added the one in here for birth month because with Raptor, there's two important things. One, we use the variable birth month, and we're asking if it's equal to April. Now, in Raptor, it's not necessary to use your, and, and not allow, allowable to use your double equal signs like we do in pseudocode and also Python, but you do have to have quotation marks around the word April because it is a string. So you're going to go ahead and finish, finish out that process. Now, if these are true, uh, down here, this is where you would put your um, output statements. Let's say added an input. This is where you would put your output congratulatory statements. And this can just simply be output text to display that value. Now, in Python, what we're going to do in Python is we're still going to work around modules and functions. So we're going to have a main function or main module and then a call to main down here. And what I have so far is I have a module called get age 
that takes in age and returns age to this variable here. We do the same thing with get weight, and then you're going to do the same thing with birth month in order to get the birth month. Uh, so here's get age coded for you. You'll code your function for getting the weight and one for getting the month. And then again, the meat of the program is in this correct answers module. So you're not going to return anything out of this module, so it doesn't have to be set equal to anything. But you do have to use your variables of age, weight, and birth months, the arguments. So in your parameter list, they'll simply be added in there. Now your age and your weight are simple if statements. If age less than or equal to 25 colon, then what do we want to happen? And again, you don't use you don't actually use the then keyword and the end if keyword that you do in pseudocode. Uh, so weight would be similar, so we would add the code for weight there. And then here is birth month. Now birth month, you do use the double equal signs in Python, and then you use quotation marks or single quotes around the word April to check to see if the, the, the comparison is right. So if birth month is equal to April, then you would print your congratulatory message there.